Eric the Swiss Army Knife here. I wanted to show you about this hand bar thing I got from Camco. Uh, it's not a bad handlebar, but they give you this instruction with like two halves of a, um, of a drawing and you're supposed to slide these back and forth to get your bearings. I'm not going to suggest that you do that. What I'm going to suggest is something completely different and that is that you pre-drill a couple of holes. They give you an eighth inch hole so and then you use a level. Okay? This is the way you can hang picket frames, everything else. So figure out where you want it. You go right here in the middle. And if you can't eyeball this, you got problems. Okay? Alright. Okay, I'm in the frame. Okay, so I want to make sure I don't go too far. I'm going to put the screw and see if that will make it. Yeah, it'll make it. So now I'm going to take, uh, I'll hand screw these in. You can use a, a tool if you want. Okay. Okay, so I pretty much got the first screw in. All right, now what am I gonna do, okay? Well, it's not that difficult. So you slide this in, slide the other piece in, and you're going to put this at level. And make sure your trailer's level. I would use edge to edge and look at where you are in the bar, and um, I think you're gonna get a better a better um, fit if you do it if you eyeball it because you're gonna see right across everything and it's pretty I would say it's pretty difficult to screw this up okay second screws in Okay. Handles just partially in. Now what you want to do is what you're going to be dealing with is uh, the screw in the back that keeps it there. You can do one of two things. You can take this off and screw it in. I think you're going to find that it's more difficult to try and find where that screw goes than to screw in right here and here. But the manufacturer wants you to do it that way, so I'm going to go with that. And what I'm going to do is take this, just tape them both, take it off. I've cut two pieces of duct tape. Put them on nice and tight, all the way around the edges. Nice and tight. I don't want too much tape. Nice and tight. So I've got edge to edge, nice and tight. Now I can take this off without worrying about the thing sliding around and getting the hole wrong and having your wife go what did you do because in the beginning many years ago that happened to me so get it right so now I see the hole in the back okay and they're fixed I can't I can't screw this up so I'm just gonna throw one hole Two holes, and now I'm going to just screw it in. This keeps the slide in place because it's a universal, so you can have a narrower or a wider door. So that keeps it in place. Okay, the next one. This is so easy. The other one was like, uh, come on, I don't have that kind of time. What are these manufacturers thinking? I'm, I'm pretty certain that they've never installed one of these themselves because this is the way to go. And that they should give you two pieces of tape because if you're doing it, you know, in an RVer, you always got tape. All right, so the tape's off. Got four more screws left. I'm going to screw 
screw the one side in. I would not use a level unless you know your trailer is perfectly level because that's not gonna work. I would measure top to bottom, bottom to top, or just do it across the bar where the, uh, the door actually sits and you'll be fine. Okay, pretty tight. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the two bottom ones. I don't have to worry about where they go, where they sit, everything's perfect. And everything on these, everything on a trailer or an RV is pretty janky. So things don't always line up. Sometimes you have to try and make them fit to line up to the way, the way they should be. So that's that's another kind of a little tidbit. If you're a new RVer, I don't use a hand screwdriver very often. I can't stand the time it takes check all my screws. I believe my wife will love. Perfect. Okay. So 